Hi, my name is Zach Curry, and I'm a Top Shelf Models Financial Analyst. Today, we're going to be talking about leasing commissions. So, first off, what are leasing commissions? A leasing commission is a fee paid by a building owner to a leasing broker, and this can be a tenant rep, a landlord rep, or both, for procuring a tenant that successfully executes a lease with the owner. LCs are paid at the start of the lease and are commonly paid both when a new tenant occupies a suite and when an existing tenant renews a lease. Here in Excel, we're going to go over how to calculate a leasing commission. So the LC amount, the leasing commission, is paid by the owner based upon a percentage of the lease value, that is, the total rent over the term of the lease. So, for example, if this was the rent roll for a particular mixed-use building, got some retail, restaurant, and some office suites, and this is the total square footage along with the breakdown by suite, and here are the rents, then we can calculate the leasing commissions for this building assuming no annual rent bumps in this case. So how we would do this is we would take the rentable square footage, multiply that by the rent per square foot, in this case $28, multiply that by the length of the lease, the term of the lease, five years here, multiply that by the LC percentage, in this case 6%. So the total lease value or the total rent over the term of the lease would be 2200 times 28 times 5 which is 308,000. You multiply that, the total lease value or total rent by the leasing commission percentage, in this case 6%, and you get 18,480 in commissions to be paid to the broker for suite 101. If you were to do that for each of the remaining tenants, you would see that you get total commissions paid to the broker of $632,890. This is, as I just mentioned, what the or how the total commissions would be calculated for LCs if there were no annual rent bumps. So now let's factor in annual rent bumps. So if there are annual rent bumps, then the way you would calculate the total rent or lease value is going to be a little different here. You can't just multiply the square footage times the rate times the term because the rent is going to increase each year. So to illustrate how you would calculate this, it's basically you just take the base rent or the year one rent, you multiply that by one plus whatever the annual rent bump is raised to whatever the year number is, minus one. So in year one, that's just whatever the base rent is. So you take the square footage, 2200 times $28, and that's your year one rent. Your year two rent is that base rent, 61,600, times one plus 2.5%, the annual rent bump, raised to the one-th power, in this case, year two, so it's year two, and year two, or the year number, minus one is the, the exponent in this case, so two minus one is one, so all we're doing is taking that 61,600 and multiplying that by 1.025. In year three, as you can see, we're doing the same thing, year four, same thing. And you do that over the entire term of the lease, in this case five years for Retail Suite 101. For Retail Suite 103, you can see that's just over a three-year term. For the restaurant, you can see that's over a 10-year term. And for the third floor office suite, you can see that's over a 12-year term. So we just sum up the total rent over the lease's term for each of these tenants. And then just as before, we multiply that total rent by the LC 
percentage to get the leasing commissions paid to the broker. And if we sum those up, we can see we get a total we get total LCs paid out to the broker of 721,630. Previously, we had gotten 632,000, not factoring in rent bumps. So as you can see, when you factor in rent bumps, that is approximately a 90K variant. So an increase in $90,000 to the leasing commissions paid to the broker. So when you're negotiating leasing commissions, whether or not annual rent bumps are included in the LC calculation is fairly important. As that can, as you can, as we see here, that can make, you know, close to a 90K difference. Thanks for listening to this video today, and please check out our website at tsmfinancialmodels.com. Every week, we're posting a new blog. You can also use our custom model builder. If you want to purchase a top quality model, you can go there and choose whatever type of real estate model you need.